Well, thank you for coming. I mean, isn't this amazing? Uh, we have uh, more than 1,000 clashers here today, here in Helsinki. And what's even better, what I've always loved about the Clash community is that how global it is. Today we have people from 39 different countries who've decided to come to Helsinki for, for this event. So we have people from all over Europe, from Americas, Middle East, India, Japan, Korea, China, Australia, Indonesia, Philippines, and so on. And I'd like to use this opportunity to extend a very special thank you for those people who've made the longest trip. So let's give these people a big, big hand. Thank you for coming. I also want to welcome the people who are joining us via one of the four live streams that we have going on. So one in English, one in Chinese, one in Japanese, and one in, in Korean. So welcome. Also, it's very clear that today is going to be a very, very exciting day. And hopefully also a very fun day. I mean, games are, are all about fun. We will hear today from the best players. We will watch them battle. We're going to have workshops on strategies. Uh, and uh, that will be an opportunity for all of us to learn and to become even better clashers. And who knows, there also may be some interesting announcements during the day. Personally, I'm going to spend very little time here on the stage today. And the reason is that this event does not belong to me. It belongs to you guys. It belongs to the best players of Clash. It really is you who have made Clash what it is today. And I can't tell you how proud we are of the Clash community. I mean, to us, you guys are the most active, sometimes the most vocal, certainly the most passionate and creative gamers out there on the, on the planet. So thank you very, very much for that. I mean, you guys really are the, the fuel that keeps, keeps us going. And uh, obviously, I want to say that when we started to develop Clash, um, roughly a four years ago, feels kind of a long time, or a short time. Uh, we obviously had absolutely no idea how uh, popular the game would become uh, globally. And to us, it feels like we are almost like living a dream. And I want to thank you guys for, for uh, giving that to us. So thank you very much. However, uh, we have even bolder dreams. We actually think that it's still very early days, both for Clash as a game and uh, also for the Clash community. And I have this very simple dream that uh, uh, I would still love to see as many of you guys still play Clash like uh, uh, after 10 years has, has passed. And, uh, then we organize ClashCon for the tenth time. I'd love to be able to see as many of you guys on that event uh, as possible. And hopefully, on that day, you, could, you guys could proudly say that, hey, I also attended the very first ClashCon. As I said, this event doesn't belong to me. It belongs to the best players. Sadly, I'm not one of those players. I hope to become better today. We'll see. Uh, in addition to the best players, this event also belongs to the creators of Clash. Uh, and sadly, I'm not one of those people either. I don't create games, and most certainly, I did not create Clash. How I see my role at Supercell is that I help create an environment where other people can create these great games. That's my job. 
So on that note, enough of me here at the stage. It's time to hear from the real people behind Clash. And as I said, the rumor is they may have something pretty exciting to announce to us. Do you guys want to hear it? Yeah. With that, let's give a very, very warm welcome to Jonas from the Clash team. Welcome, Jonas. Welcome to ClashCon. Holy moly. This is amazing. Thanks to all the players, all the casters, everybody watching on the stream. I'm so happy to see so many people here in this wonderful land of beautiful Nordic people. And here I am, the least photogenic member of the Clash of Clans team here to present to you today. But I think you're going to be a bit more interested in what I have here under the desk. So. Free gems? No, even better. <laughs> so Ilka actually wasn't kidding. Um, this is going to be the first ever demo, our first ever live demo actually, and first demo of one small thing we've been working on for the next update. Actually, nobody in Supercell has seen it yet. You guys are going to be the first. That's pretty cool, huh? So. I don't think I'm going to blow any minds with this first bit that I'm going to show you. I think everybody's been thinking it's a long time coming. It's about time we finally have Town Hall 11. Yes? I think that's a yes. I think that's a pretty strong yes. So we are going to be taking a very bold direction with Town Hall 11, both in terms of the visual style returning to more ancient technologies, mysterious powers that we haven't seen. But also, we are going to be taking very bold steps in the gameplay, because of course, Clash is all about the gameplay. So what I really want to show to you today is one piece of Town Hall 11, which is just up here, which is the new defense. So, lots of questions, even more questions than it's on this defense's head. First of all, in case you're wondering, this ring is not the defense's range. This is sort of like the mortar. This is where it can't shoot. You want to know where it can shoot? That's where it can shoot. This is going to be the first defense that can guard your entire village. Everywhere other than on top of its head. And we'll go over why in just a second. How about I just attack it? That will be the easiest way. Let's go. What can go wrong? So, in the Clash team, we've actually been super excited to see how the meta has been developing in terms of the highest level of, of attacks. Uh, we've been absolutely loving seeing hybrid army strategies, kill squads, go, go Laloon, uh, go Ho. We really, really like, some go Ho fans, that's great. We really, really like this sort of, um, two-phased attack, where you have one small set of your troops that goes up and sets the stage, prepares the village, and your main force comes in and knocks the rest of it down. We want to uh, not only promote that, but add new twists, new challenges to that sort of gameplay with Town Hall 11. So, the first thing you might notice with this defense is that when I first start fighting, it's actually off. It has no awareness of the troops that I have on the playing field. However, as I start to deploy my preliminary squad, it starts to wake up. This is your kill squad, your first attacking force. And once you deploy enough troops onto the battlefield, this thing kicks into life. This troop, can we get some sound here? Come on. 
this troop here, or this, this defense here, is going to relentlessly hunt down your attacking force after you've deployed your main attack force into the battle. Oh, barely got that, but I think he's out of luck. Oh, not, not so nice. So, um, as you can see, okay, well, I, I, I think it's pretty sure I lost. I lost this one here. Oh, but this guy got it. So as you can see, this is going to present an interesting dilemma to attackers. Do you want to prioritize the new defense with your kill squad? Do you want to try to clear the road to the town hall for a quick and decisive strike? Do you want to balance between the clan castle pull, getting the queen, getting some air defenses? Your job as an attacker and as a base designer is going to become a lot more interesting with this new key element in the village. I lost. Yeah, that was a bit. That was a bit rough. Trust me, there are much better attackers coming on stage today. So this might seem quite a bit daunting. You'll, you'll be seeing a lot more footage of this to come, by the way. Um, and you might be wondering, how are you going to deal with a defense that's that powerful? And uh, I don't want to take too much time here today, so I want to leave it at just presenting the defense. But I will at least tell you that we are going to be giving attackers a new tool at Town Hall 11 to help empower and to protect their armies. But I think uh, for now we're going to have to leave it here. So let's leave it here for now. So that's a good question. So <laughs> there's going to be a lot more than just Town Hall 11 new defense, new content coming in the next update. Uh, at the Clash team, we have actually been taking a pretty hard look at the overall Clash of Clans experience, what it means to be a Clasher, what it means to play this game, what it means to get dedicated to this game. And there is going to be changes coming across the board. Um, we're going to be doing a extended sneak peek schedule in the coming weeks that are going to be going over all of these changes, not just Town Hall 11, but many, many more things. This is going to be one of the biggest updates we've ever done to Clash. This is just a tiny piece of it. So stay tuned for that. <laughs> but here we are now, the Clash Con. Thank you all for coming. And thank you all for watching as well. ClashCon isn't about the update. It's not about update news. It's not about Town Hall 11. ClashCon is about you guys. It's about us. It's about being a clasher. It's about people who play clan wars with their friends on the weekend, clashers who post raids and stream strategies. It's about people who hone and push and perfect their skills in the battlefield. And more than anything, it's about Clashers doing what we do best, which is getting together and having fun. So, I can think of uh, no better example to celebrate how far we have all come together over the last three years than our experiments with Clan War tournaments. Um, over the past several months, we've been going around the world and hosting these limited uh, invitational Clan War tournament events. And it started in a very quaint back office at Supercell HQ, and it's taken us all the way to one of the most popular esports stadiums in Yongsong, Seoul, South Korea. This event here is the culmination of all of those experiments. Along the way, we've met some wonderful people, some dedicated clashers, and some good friends. So what better thing to do than to invite all of them here today and to have a Clan War tournament? <laughs> so this is going to be a sort of special, special time for Clash. This is going to be the first time we're bringing together the entire community, not just you here, but people streaming from around the world. We're going to talk Clash. We're going to have Clan War tournaments. And at this point, Dearest Clashers, I think it's time to hear from you. The Clash team is very eager to hear what you think about what you see on stage today, about the Clan War tournaments, about this format. We want to hear if you want to see more of this, if you want to take part of this, if you think this is something that is part of the future of Clash that we will build together. 
I have no doubt that you will be telling us what you think, by the way. <laughs> so um, I want to extend my personal thanks at this moment to two of these good friends that have been with us along the entire journey through all these crazy venues. They are, of course, the amazing Chief Pat and Galadon, who are in the Pekka Cafe right now and who will be streaming for all the clashers out there all day. They have actually prepared for us a video that's going to help uh, get you guys up to speed on what we've been up to the last couple months. But before I leave the stage, I just want to extend my most sincere and humble gratitude for all the clashers out there. We really, really appreciate you having here. And we, uh, we want to make a promise that there is many, many more years ahead of Clash. And we are committed to constantly elevating and innovating the Clash of Clans experience for everyone for the years to come. So thank you.